Today we continue our investigation of Kentucky's Child Protective Services with a different perspective on what's going on. We've been doing these stories for three years now, alleging abuse of power, falsified documents, lies in court, threats, and retaliation against parents who fight back. We've heard from victims, attorneys, and officials about what's going on, but we haven't heard from the social workers themselves until now. In disturbing detail, they back up many of the things we've reported. That families are harassed and workers are pressured, all in an effort to boost adoption numbers. They need to say bye. And remember the case of Vanessa Shanks, who had her kids taken away, and when she fought back, saw her relatives' kids taken away, and when she won her appeal, saw her attorney's child taken away. These former CPS workers say that kind of retaliatory power is common, and in this secretive one-side system, they can take your kids away right now if they want to and get away with it. I can call in and report tomorrow and I can make it seem very real to the point that a family will be investigated. And whoever gets it could come up with a substantiation of, say, let's say, neglect. And it might not be true, but it, it doesn't matter. A Treasure Coast mom is in police custody for trying to keep her kids out of state custody. She dodged DCF, but she didn't dodge the cops, and tonight she's talking to 25 for help. Jim Abbott has an exclusive jailhouse interview with a woman who says she was arrested for protecting her kids. I'm not about to just hand my kids over to them with, with no, um, no findings of abuse, no hotline call, no cause whatsoever. So Jessica LaVoy decided this time she wouldn't let Florida's Department of Children and Families take her three children. She'd rather go to jail. I'd rather be here than have, you know, just me being here than have three kids somewhere where I don't know where they are. Two years ago, DCF took the two children she had at the time. The caseworkers said they'd received reports of what they didn't say. But LaVoy says while her two-year-old was in DCF care, he wound up with several bruises and may have been sexually molested. The boy sued DCF, and when caseworkers returned in December to take her kids again, the boy figured it was retaliation. Because they know I have a lawsuit with them, and then I'm planning on doing stuff to them. I think that when my name hit the head of the department, that that's what triggered this all to come to me like this. And DCF has gone to three of the boy's friends as well, that's taking right. children from I, two of them. Right. Tammy Young says her daughter is missing. Joanna Rodriguez says her two daughters may have head lice. And Heather Carol Lopez, a witness in LaVoy's case, is now being investigated. Her caseworker had threatened me that she said, if you don't leave now, then you're going to have problems with your kids. We tried to talk to DCF about the case, but they refused to comment. Just So, you know, at that time, I was probably seeing him uh, 16 hours a week. So then we could go out and spend the day together. You know, we go to the lake a lot. You know, we went out and, and, you know, we had a park right by our house. We go to the park. We went straight to emergency, uh, took him in. There was like four pedi pedi pediatric doctors there looking at him. Nobody could figure out what was wrong with him. He was admitted to uh, pediatrics, uh, you know, within a couple hours. Uh, after going on to pediatrics, um, you know, then they started doing tests on him and all this kind of stuff and found out that his nutritional levels were, were really low. Because the first part doesn't even apply anymore. They don't give me what they want, they just said admit guilt. Huge breach on your half. A huge what? A breach of security on your half. Okay, okay. What, is, what is that? And that would be that you had videotaped Sebastian during a supervised visit, and it had gone onto cable TV as well as YouTube. A happy moment between mother and daughter caught on tape. Part of the four hours a week Zabeth Bain gets to spend with her baby. Bethany was seized by the government after suffering a head injury eight months ago. The abuse team at Children's Hospital says shaken baby syndrome. It's a claim the Bain family denies vigorously, and they've spent the better part of the last year trying to clear their name. Well, we've just taken out a second mortgage on our home. Yep. We saved and saved, and we bought a place in Hope. We have half an acre, beautiful new home, bedroom for each of the kids, and yeah, we've had intense lawyer bills. The doctors, you have to pay them for the services. 
and uh, even just gas mileage. It's yeah. just been a, a heavy drain. While they are fighting an uphill battle, there is support for the Baines. Dr. Pat Blackjaw has spent time with all three children. She's convinced there is no sign of abuse or neglect. I watch them um, as they bring up their kids and deal with all the difficulties of very premature children. They're excellent people. Caring, loving, and I do not believe that they have abused their kids. The problem is, is in the beginning we had a meeting with the ministry and they kept saying that we're not working with them. We're being uncooperative. And I asked them point blank, I said, what does it mean to work with you? What do you want us to do? And they said, to admit and take responsibility for what you did. Oh, yeah. And we, I mean, we we've said, heard that scenario exactly. and it's usually in a dark dungeon somewhere. Exactly. So how do you supposed to well, work with Well, there was one farther them? thing that was yeah. said um, from their legal counsel during mediation and that is, in order to move the case forward, um, we need... Uh, a statement that's consistent with yeah. our diagnosing doctor. So that Wait, would be that consistent goes back with to the shaken, shaken baby, baby syndrome. Exactly. But the courts have said it's not shaken baby. So now where does that say? They threatened us that if we did, um, we'd be facing the same thing that happened before. Um, so, But we do have preparations for after the order expires. So we have a couple things in place for people that, that, are, that are taking a story.